Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. So far you learned how to use 2D sketches to create extrusions, but let's uh, go in a bit more in details about the extruded. It's a quite a common element used in uh, cut modeling. I created this body so far, which covers the, the whole shape, but what my goal now is, from this solid body, I want to remove material and I want to remove this area. So what I need to do here, if this is much more complex area, is to create a 2D sketch and I will just go and take a slice. This is the shape that I need to use for my body that I need to reconstruct. I will press create. So now I will just hide my basic part because I need it. All I need to do now is just to create a circle here. I will just hold the shift key and will paint the area that I need. This will create an arc, but I will just click on it and it will create a circle. So this is my sketch, as you can see on the screen, and now I'm ready to create my extruded body. Because this is closed, if I select this shape and select extrude, it will automatically create this as a solid. Now you are in the panel where you can edit your extruded um, feature. I'll press OK for now, for the demonstration. At any point you can just go back, right click and edit your extruded feature. We'll go now and try to understand all the options that we have here. For you to understand better, I will show the sketch so you can understand what's going on on the screen. There are two handles that you can move on the screen and you can adjust the depth of your extruded body. The first option is whether you want this to be a solid or just as a surface. And the next one is the depth. If you just move the top plane, as you can see, the depth changes and you can adjust this and put to a specific value. Once you type in it, this feature will automatically be updated. Also, you can move the bottom plane, but because these are always positive numbers, you can move only up until where the sketch is. In some cases, you may want to track this a bit more. So what you need to do in this case is that you can use the set the sketch command. What it will do, it will take the existing sketch and will reposition it in space, for example, to the top plane. As you can see now, my sketch is where my top plane is, so now I can drag this further and I can also drag this bottom plane. You can also create a draft for many applications. If you type in the number, automatically the draft will be created. You can alter this, um, the direction of the draft, and you can adjust. If you don't want to have a draft, just type zero degrees. So this is how you create your extrusion, but uh, there are also other options that you can use. In this case, what I want is that this bottom plane, I want to be perfectly as good as possible to where my plane is. So what you can do in this case is just go and use the mesh edit command and using the selection tools, I can just select the area where uh, my plane is. Then I can press close. Now, if I go back and edit my extruded surface, there are options that I can use the selection to send this plane to the best possible position. And let's try this and I just press bottom plane. As you can see, the software automatically snapped this to the selected area. To practice this again, I will just press OK. We will unselect everything and go to mesh edit. Now I will select the top plane and press close. We'll go back at it and for the top plane I will set it to the top. So this is how you use these functionalities to create the best uh, possible position for your extruded um, feature. You can always then move because this is one off command. I will unselect everything now and now I want to show you what this snapping option means. If I pick the handle it will just freely move in space, but if I have a snapping, it automatically will show us a deviation map of how the mesh is 
against uh, our extruded feature. What happens now when I drag? If I get over the mesh, it automatically will snap to a point on the mesh. But not only this, you will see a color deviation of the surface from your mesh. So this will save you all the problems when you want to select and so on. So what I will do now, I will just hold this and you see a yellow point on the screen that matches on the, the mesh. If I just drag this out, you'll get the freeform moving, but if I just move the mouse over the mesh, it will just pick a point from the mesh. In this case, I'm pretty good. I can pick any point from this mesh, but now I'll show you why we need to have this color deviation. Let's assume that I want to place this top plane to this surface. I will not be able to do this because this is uh, stopping me. For this reason, I'll just put the sketch at the bottom plane. Now I can freely move this in space. So let's drag this and get over a point from our reference mesh. What you see here is that this object has not been manufactured really well and it gives you a different deviation. So if I just try, you see that it, in this area I get really good results, but here I don't get a good one. So dragging like this, I can find the best position where I want this to be. So this is the trick about um, deviation and how you can use it. Of course, in this case, I just want this to be much higher. This is in a perfect position, I press OK. And then all I need to do now is from my big body, I can just cut this and remove material to get the best results. Let me just hide this sketch. I want to show you another, a bit more interesting example that you can find the importance of this. I'll just delete this, which we have already created. During this process, we've been built this body so far. And now what we want is to create extruded surface in the same way from this area. Well, let's try to do what I just showed you. We'll just get a 2D sketch and we'll drag and get a slice from my mesh, which defines this specific extruded um, feature. I will just create this. Now I will quickly just create my profile. Holding the shift key will fit the two arcs here. And now I will just create a tangent arc here to create my profile. I'll just drag this to get the best results. And we'll drag this to get my other good result. So when I'm ready, I just press OK. So I will show the mesh now and we'll create an extruded surface which by default is sorry. Because I was using the snapping before, it automatically will stay in this uh, mode for me to carry on. So of course, what I need to do now is just to get the best position here with the snapping on. I'll just try to track my point somewhere over the mesh where I want this to snap. If I just move down, it always will just snap to the different areas. So as you can see, if I place the bottom here, everything is red, but I can just pick a point from this surface for the best result. So this is all you need to know about the extruded feature. You can use it easily with all other tools now. Thank you for watching.